Hi everybody, I'm Igor Paspal, the 2020 Electric Guitarist of the Year, selected by Guitar World magazine, and I'm here to introduce you to Gig Performer 4. Here we have a list of the rack spaces on the left, so you can just consider a rack space like one of your sounds, for each rack space for like clean sound, jazzy sound, rock sound, whatever. So I already have set up here for a few of my favorite plugins, but now just for the sake of demonstration, I'm just gonna open the blank blank gig file so you can just see how easy it is to insert your own favorite plugin connect everything and will which will get you going to insert your plugin it's it's very easy you just press command plus p on the mac or control control plus p on windows or just a right click so if i press the right click i'm gonna get a list of all the plugins that are installed on my computer so i'll now insert a plugin called s gear which has a multiple amps and multiple amp simulations and some common effect. Okay, so there it is. Now when you insert it, first you need to connect everything, so you can feel free to close it. This is my audio interface, you can see here. It's a Scarlett 816 USB. It's a, this, this box represents the inputs of your audio interface, same as like in hardware inputs, you have inputs one, two, three, whatever, and outputs where your monitors or your speakers are connected. So I'm just gonna drag because now my guitar is connected to input 2 in front of the interface. So I'm just gonna drag the wire from input 2. I'm just gonna drag it to input 1 of the S-Gear, of the plugin. And now from the S-Gear plugin, same like it's the amp with the speakers. You're just gonna go outputs to outputs of your it's the interface like this. Oh, sorry. To output 2, output 2 to output 2. If you have a two speakers, output 1 goes to one speaker, left output 2 to uh, the right speaker. And now just for the sake of this uh, demonstration of this recording, I just need to also record output 1 to output 3, channel 3, and output 2 to channel 4, which you probably won't have to do it. This is just for this screen recording and all this little demo. Okay, now let's see, do we have any sound? Yes, you can see it's happening if you open the plugin. See? And now we can just pick a press it from the plugin to test things out. Let's see. Okay. And there you have it. It's working perfectly. Now we need to insert our gain and balance plugin and how we're going to do this. Same thing we did with S-Gear. We're going to do right click or command plus P and this is the internal plugin of Geek Performer 4. So we can find it here, gain control, gain and balance control. Same with S-Gear, you can close it until you make the connections. So you can just now connect it in between S-Gear and audio output. The same way you connected, connected the S-Gear and audio output you will connect S gear with gain and balance control and then to audio output. So you can just take these wires and drag them. But okay, let's just let's just remove all these connections. So I'm gonna show you. And so from the S gear output one to gain balance control, output in, output two, output two, and same way as before. And I'm just going to add these other outputs for the sake of this recording. And let's see. Now if we open gain balance control. Okay, let's just, uh, let's change the preset just for fun. Let's do as they say, this Plex monster. Okay, and now if you play... You can see, you can change the volume. And with a double click, you can go back. Okay, so we need to click on the edit button at the top, which will bring up the panel view in edit mode. Now we need to drag and drop one of the knobs or sliders widget onto our panel. So we just, I'm just gonna use this 11, this cool 11 button. And now to connect this knob to a parameter within a plugin, simply select that plugin from a list here, right? In this case, 
we're going to use the gain and balance plugin we inserted earlier to control volume and we're just going to click learn parameter now we just need to move this slider a bit and you see gig performer will connect it to your knob and you can see how the knob moves if i move the slider now i'm going to exit that learn parameter mode and now to connect this knob to our expression pedal i can also close this to connect this to our expression pedal on our foot controller we can simply see these tabs general midi value advanced we can just go to midi tab and then select learn learn midi and then just to move our pedal a little bit and you see it's connected now on the, to my foot controller which is connected by midi on my audio interface you may want to scale or limit how much you change your volume when you move your expression pedal for example you may want to move the pedal up to only around 0 db or so but not go beyond this and that's generally a good idea so to do this you simply use the parameter curve designer in gig performer let's see so to do this we again need to be in edit mode we're gonna club click that knob again in the edit mode and we're gonna go to value tab we are already there okay and we're gonna click on the visual scaler is this thing now here you can see when I move my expression pedal or knob that value is going from 0 to 100 now I know that 0 dB is around value 70.7 so I'll just type that this, this inside the visual scaler as my maximal value. So maximal value. And I'm just going to type 70.7. Enter. And now if you can see when I move my foot controller, we only go to about 0 dB and not beyond. Each rack space can have its own completely different plugin setup. For example, let me create now another rack space with a different guitar amp plugin. This time it's going to be THU. So the easiest way is to just duplicate my first rack space because it already has our knob, the volume control, etc. And then I'll simply replace this gear plugin with the THU plugin. So we can go to panels. This is our rack space. We can just choose either from the menu or right click, duplicate current rack space. And there we have it. If we go to wiring, we see that we have two exactly same rack spaces. Now I'm just gonna remove the S gear. Actually, I'm just gonna replace the plugin on the second rack space with THU from Overloud. And that's it. Now I have two rack spaces with same controls. One is containing S gear 2 and one is containing THU. Now how do you switch between these sounds? And how long does it take to switch between the rack spaces? Now this is where Gig Performer really shines. Check this out. If I press 1 on my foot controller, GP will receive a MIDI program change message 1 and switch it to the first rack space. If I press 2, it will switch to the second one. So there is no setup needed. This is how things work by default. Now how long does it take to switch between the patches? Well, let's see. Now we just scratched the surface of this amazing piece of software. It is worth mentioning that Gig Performer was created by performing musicians themselves who understand the joy and stress associated with live performances. Then the, they understand that the last thing you want to think about when you go on stage is your gear. It just needs to work and Gig Performer creates uh, creators understand that. You don't have to look or even have your laptop on stage if you don't want to. Once you connect things with your MIDI controller, you can just do your things and play. There are many, many more useful free features in Geek Performer 4, like the global rack space 
OSC support, audio and MIDI players, GP script language, support for songs, setlist, and so on. It really is a complete package made by musicians for musicians. Rock on and own the stage.